Hello and welcome to this O'Reilly screencast for Windows 7 The Missing Manual. Today we'll take a look at hard drive checkups. Now every time you shut off the PC, Windows tidies up, ensuring that all files are saved properly on the drive. When all is well, Windows turns off the machine. The time that elapses between your turn off computer command and the actual power down moment is the tidying up period. But sometimes, thanks to a system crash, power outage, or a toddler playing with your surge suppressor, your computer gets turned off without warning and without the usual shutdown checks. Now in the olden days, way back even before Windows XP, restarting the PC after such a dirty shutdown automatically ran a program called ScanDisk. It was a utility designed to detect and, when possible, repair drive damage that may have occurred as a result of an improper shutdown. ScanDisk doesn't exist in Windows 7 though, but its functions have been reincarnated. You can get to this feature by right-clicking on the icon of the hard drive you want to check in the computer window. So let's bring up that hard drive, right-click it, and now from the shortcut menu, let's choose Properties. Let's bring this up here and click on the Tools tab, and we'll click Check Now. Now a box appears, offering two options. Automatically fix file system errors, well, clearly you want this option turned on so that any problem Windows finds are taken care of automatically. Then the next box is scan for and attempt recovery of bad sectors. If you turn on this option, then whenever the scan finds a damaged section of a drive, it moves any files located there elsewhere on the drive. Then the program surrounds that hard disk area with the digital equivalent of yellow police line tape and so that Windows won't use the damaged area for storing files in the future. When you've made your choice, click start. Now even though the button you clicked was called Check Now, Windows cannot in fact check for errors on system disk or disk with open files. Right now when you click Start, a message cheerfully informs you that Windows will be happy to run this error check the next time it starts up, and indeed it will. Click Schedule Disk Check to make it so. And for more about this topic, check out Windows 7, The Missing Manual on O'Reilly.com. And thank you for your time.